Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Beautiful Little Tarot and this reading is from 4th of August to 10th of August. So let's check what are the messages for you. Last chance for Sagittarius. The moon. The high priestess. Five of swords. The hermit. And the uh, knight of wands. So here we have this card of moon. With this card of moon, this is about uh, something that might be hidden. And that could be bothering you. Maybe nowadays you think that this person is hiding something from you or they are avoiding you because of something. And uh, you are true. Looks like um, this high priestess inside you is really active in this week and she is guiding you in the right direction. So if you have got this intuition that something is just not right. You need to get into the depth. You need to trust your intuition because um, actually there are things that you need to know. This person is someone who wants you badly. They want to be in this relationship because they were never loved like this before. They want to keep you there. I mean in this relationship no matter what comes. And this person is afraid of um, telling you something because they think he, you are going to judge them or you are going to leave them. This person is afraid of something from the past. Maybe this person was in a relationship with someone and that ex is still in touch. Or probably this person is unable to burn the bridges off with someone else and this person is not telling you because they think uh, of course it's going to hurt you this person is afraid that something uh, they are doing if that comes to the surface it will ruin everything and this person may not open up no matter how hard you try no matter how hard you question them this person would act like um, you know they don't even know about uh, what you are talking about they don't even remember anything like that this person will simply try to ignore that issue this person will simply try to make you feel like um, you are judgmental or you are thinking too much you are an overthinker you don't trust them so fault is with you not with them I think this person is being really self-centered here. All they're thinking um, is that you stay there. They're thinking about um, their own benefit. This person thinks that if you will be there, you know, it's fine. But um, if you walk away, this person is certainly going to lose a part of themselves. And uh, that is why this person is not telling you the truth. We have this knight of wands here. So probably this has got a reputation. This person has got a reputation of being really flirtatious or maybe someone who has had many relationships in the past. And uh, often this person stays in touch with those people like a friend. And uh, you may have this feeling that this person is often crossing the boundaries. They are often um, making you think that there is something more to it than friendship. This person might be giving you a lot of doubts or they might be acting strange. And whenever you would question them, this person would make it look like you are overthinking or you are overreacting. There is some issue with you, you should fix it rather than asking them those questions. We have this card of hermit. With this hermit, this person cannot uh, open their eyes. Okay, whatever you would say, this person will keep their eyes closed. Whatever you would do, this person will not act. They would seem to be unbothered, like they don't even know about um, um, the situation. They even don't um, know about what you are talking about and from where you are getting your 
ideas or from where you're getting your insecurities. This person will um, make you think like you are insecure without uh, any reason and you are someone who should work on yourself rather than working on themselves. Okay. So you will have to be careful with this person in this week. Of course, this is a general reading. This may not resonate with everyone. The energy could be reversed as well. Also, you can check your moon and rising sign. Let's go ahead and uh, check some more messages for you. Eight of Wands. The Emperor. Eight of Swords. The Magician. And the uh, Knight of Cups. Okay. We have this Emperor here. This person has got huge ego. And the reason this person stays in touch with everyone is that uh, they want validation from each and every one. Each and every one they have met in their life. And that is the problem here. This person cannot accept their mistake. And that is why they would make you feel like um, you are... Um, overreacting and you shouldn't be judging them you shouldn't be even asking those questions this person would act like you have created uh, uh, created a chaos or you can say you have done something uh, that is simply unforgivable and uh, this person may make you feel like you are supposed to be feeling guilty for what you said or what you did okay we have this eight of swords here so with this eight of swords you may listen a lot of things about them okay from different sources you may get to know about what they are doing and this may make you feel like you are losing them and of course this is not a good feeling you may feel like this person has left you in the middle of nowhere also we have this eight of wands with this eight of wands this is about um uh knowing that you are surrounded by light okay the tarot is telling you do not um, ignore your intuitions no matter um, how much others are trying to tell you that you shouldn't be listening to your heart or you are overthinking you have got something wrong with you because your intuition is going to lead you okay and um, open your eyes there is a lot of light around you there is something uh, that you need to change also, Eight of Wands is about a new journey, a new start. So, a lot will change in this week. Of course, we have this Mask Magician here. This Mask ma Magician is simply trying to keep you in an illusion. This person is wearing a mask. You may not know them completely, but this person is someone who is not going to accept anything easily it's like you will have to find everything out for yourself doesn't look like this person is going to confess anything and um, even if you question them they would be quick to tell you that you should change your thinking maybe you are um, thinking in a wrong way and there is just friendship and you are too controlling or taking away their space this person may act like that also, we have this Knight of Cups here. With this Knight of Cups, this person knows how to make things correct. Okay? First, they will say whatever they want. They will make you feel insecure. They will make you feel like uh, your opinions don't matter or you are overthinking, overreacting. You are supposed to change. There is everything wrong with you and there is nothing you should be questioning about. You should accept them as they are. And then on the other hand, after some time, this person will be back with a huge smile like nothing ever happened and everything is fine. You two should be together. So a lot of things are going to happen in this week and um, you won't be able to understand who they are. But in this situation, Tara is telling you listen to your intuition because this high priest is inside you. She is guiding you in the right direction. You need to listen to that intuition. Let's check an oracle message for you. Prophetic dreams. 
so your higher self is not going to i'm sorry your higher self is not only going to talk to you through your intuitions but you may have some vivid dreams in this um, week or some strange dreams that will leave you sleepless or you might wake up suddenly if this happens try to know what those dreams are trying to tell you okay everything you see in your dream is you so it's your higher self it's trying to show you something try to interpret and um, try to understand what it's telling you because um, that is the only thing you can rely on in this week okay this person will be simply unpredictable so this was the reading for this week i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching till next video bye